close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Give the mind a good, solid place to stay. We live in a world where things are pushing us around. and We want to make sure that we have a solid place to stay when they're pushing us in a bad direction, that we don't have to go along with the, with the pressure. So the breath is a good place to stay. It's with you all the time. Wherever, you're, wherever you are, the breath is right there. You can breathe in ways that are comfortable, breathe in ways that are soothing to the body, soothing to the mind. Energizing when you need energy, relaxing when you need to be relaxed. So you can make it a good place to stay. It's like moving into a house and turning it into your home. And then when storms come, you've got a good solid house. The roof is star solid, the windows are solid. You just stay in your safe place. When things outside are safe, then you can come outside again. Always knowing that when things get bad again, you've got a good place to go. They say that the causes for progress in life are four, and two of them have to do with your past lifetimes. In other words, you're, you've got merit from the past and you've also been born into a place where you can practice. But the other two are things that you have to do now. One is learning to stay, choose good people as friends, people who lead you in the right direction, the direction of conviction, virtue, generosity, wisdom. And the other one is to establish your mind in the right direction. Or establish yourself in the right direction. After all, we're born into this life. There's nobody that tells us, tells us what we have to do with our lives. We're born here because we wanted to be here. But now we've got this human life. What are you going to do with it? And it's up to you to decide that whether you want to make it go in the right direction or not. Because there are lots of wrong directions out there, directions that involve unvirtuous behavior, ungenerous behavior, foolish behavior. There's a lot of that out there. And people say you'll be happy by doing these things, but if you look carefully, you realize it's not the case. If you want to look at it for happiness, it's more solid and more secure, someone who doesn't harm anybody, and someone that uh, happiness more than repays the effort you put into that. That comes from being virtuous, being generous. You learn how to meditate, to give the mind a good, solid place to stay where it can see things where they really are. So when you point your life in this direction, can, and then you stick with it, then it's going to go in that direction. We may meet up with obstacles, but that's part of life. But the direction is one that you determine, so make sure you aim your mind, aim yourself in the right direction. Otherwise you just get pushed around by, like dust motes in the air. They go zigzag, 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 and never really go anywhere in particular. And that's not the kind of life we want. We want a life that goes in a good direction, so that at the end of life we can say we chose the right path and it's delivered us to where we want to go. So it's the choice that we make. So aim yourself in the right direction, and you find that you benefit and the people around you benefit as well.